it is whoring themselves out for gifts, though. Um, let's go over to Nathan, Virginia Beach, show my face. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, I think you got to invite them just to keep the peace, but then it's on them. You know, they got to know their place and respectfully decline the invitation. If they don't, you got to dose them, you got to dump them. See, it's a very good point that you said. If we're playing the Fez's thing of it's in the best etiquette to invite, it's also in the best etiquette to say, I appreciate the offer, boys. Now go out and enjoy yourself. The guy can't be fucking wandering around crying in the corner to get, he didn't get to something. I mean, for me, that's a fucking red flag not to join this family, that this guy wants to be around you and your friends under such a circumstances. What the fuck for? There's no good that can come out of this. Yeah, things get weird at family parties, you know? Fuck yeah, they get weird. Getting weird is what it's all about. Um, here's uh, our buddy Rich from the 28th floor. Hey, Ron. What's up, guys? Hey, buddy. Hey, guys. Last time me and my girl were in Montreal, we actually saw a uh, bachelor up on stage... And uh, the father-in-law came running from the back and grabbed him off stage uh, with everybody booing because, you know, he didn't like the antics that were going on. See? The, the, and if the guy acts like an animal, then that's a no-win fucking situation. There's no win to this. The father-in-law should not be partying with the son and his friend. Period. Agreed. Hicks, you're agreeing? Fuck yeah. Fez, I only need you for unanimous. I disagree. We moment. had a great time. Maybe nobody had fun at, at the bar, at the bachelor party you were at. You had a no fun party. You did like the Chuck E. Cheese version of it. These guys are really having a bachelor party. Well, then they. I think they should still invite him and let them know that this is going to be the two day bender that it's going to be. Right, but and then how he is... can decide. Right, but how is he going to decide? If he looks over and he sees everybody, now everybody's going to take their coke in the bathroom? Like we're at fucking, you know, Fridays or something? They want to put it out on the table. They want to fucking put bitches out there. They want to have an ugly, horrible fucking time. Shouldn't be getting married. You sound like you don't even want to. Well... No, I don't. I don't like that idea of like the whole bachelor thing. I'm over it. Uh, you're over bachelors. You want? You just want to be with a married man. <laughs> yeah. How'd you know? That would be the best way for you that you become. Uh, because you know what? That whole fucking gimmick. That way you have like a little star apartment for yourself, right down the road in case you ever fucking need you. <laughs> um. Here is uh, Ryan. You're on my face. Yeah, Ronnie. Um, I dated girls that, like, the whole family, like, hangs out together on the weekend and everything. And, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like the father, like, I've been in uh, weddings and that, and it's like the future father-in-law wants to come and hang out with everybody. And I don't think that's the point of the bachelor party. I don't like to hang out with my family unless it's, uh, you know, like a formal holiday function. That's just weird, you know? Um, yeah, it is. It's all too strange. Keep it his family, not his buddies. Um, here's, uh, Justin. Justin, you're on <laughs> Hey, Ronnie, it's actually kind of a follow-up. I called in asking if I should take my brother-in-law, uh, to my bachelor party a couple mm. years ago. I, I took him, a group of us chartered a plane to Vegas. Uh, mild-mannered guy went off the fucking reservation when we got there. I mean, he's picking up, the uh, picking up strippers for the group. I lost this guy, found him Found him a day later, passed out in a different casino. I mean, totally unexpected. Um, unless you go to Vegas and then those things happen. There, There is a lot of guys that are mild men on straight guys because that, that's the only thing that they were allowed to be. And as soon as somebody isn't fucking pulling on that bridle, they just they run fucking wild. They couldn't make it out on their own. They couldn't make it as single people because they're fucking lunatics. They all live like Charlie Manson. 